Hello dears, Ole here. Today I'm going to show you how to alter a simple notebook with spiral binding and to turn it into a real cool notebook with grunge style mixed media cover. First we have to open the spiral binding and to detach all the parts. We have to cover both of parts of a cover with a black gesso, of course from both of sides. And as you saw, I covered with a black gesso also the pen. Now I'm going to apply some texture using stencil and plaster paste. If you don't have this paste, you can use any modeling paste that you have, it's okay. After drying, I'm adding more texture with a graphite paste. With this paste, I'm covering all the empty areas on the covers. Now I'm covering all the white texture with a gesso. You don't have to cover the graphite paste texture. After drying, I start to arrange the composition on the covers. I'm going to design uh, the front cover, but also the back cover. For the back cover, I choose pretty the same elements as on the front, but uh, only a few of them. Something important, uh, make sure not to add on the back cover any 3D dimensional elements. It's important because uh, we work on a notebook and it has stay easy to use. The first layer of embellishments is ready and we have to cover it with a black gesso. Now I'm going to add another layer of 3D embellishments but only on the front cover. It's better to glue all dimensional embellishments like this gas mask with 3D matte gel. About this gas mask, actually it's a pendant and I found it on eBay. Link to the supplies list you will find in the movie description. 
By the way, most of uh, these uh, cool metal embellishments, they are pendants and you can find them on AliExpress or eBay sites. Don't worry, I will give you all the links in the movie description. I want to get more connected look of the elements with the background. So I'm making some kind of texture which will help me to get this look. I'm just adding this texture on some points between the elements and background. Before painting we have to cover also all the elements with the black gesso. Now I begin to add colors. I always start from darker tones.
When you finish the coloring work on the front side of the covers, don't forget to color also the edges from the back side. Now you have to match two pieces of patterned cardstock and to cut it to the right size for your notebook. And you have to glue these pieces on the back sides of the covers. I don't like uh, how this uh, hose looks like, so I decided to add on it a little bit of uh, metallic paints. The last part in our project is uh, to connect them back, the covers and the pages together.
That's it. I hope you liked this tutorial. If you have any questions about the process or materials, you're welcome to ask me in the comments. Link to the supplies list you will find in the movie description. Thank you for watching and see you in the next tutorial. Bye!